want everybody to turn to the book of Yochanan. The first book of Yochanan. The epistles, the letters. We're going to look at chapter 2 of Yochanan. Yochanan Aleph. My little children, I write to you this so that you do not sin. And if anyone has transgression or sins, we have an intercessor with the Father Yahweh and through Yahusha Messiah, a righteous one. And he himself is an atoning offering for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for all the world. And by this we know that we know him, if we guard his commandments. The one that says, I know him, and does not guard this command is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever guards his words, truly the love of Elohim is and has been perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he stays in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. I'll have you go to Psalm 119 and read the whole thing, starting with one, but verse 7 in 1 John. Beloved one, I write no fresh commandment to you, but an old one which you have had from the beginning. The old command which is in and is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Again, I write a fresh command, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light now shines. The one who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. The one who loves his brother stays in the light and there is no stumbling block in him. But the one who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I write to you, little children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him from the beginning, Bereshit. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I wrote to you, fathers, because you have known him from the beginning. I wrote to you, young men, because you are you are strong. And the word of Elohim stays in you and you have overcome the wicked one. Do not love the world nor that which is in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Because all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust of it, 
and the one doing the desire of Elohim remains forever. Little children, this is the last hour. And as you have heard there, the Anta Messiah is coming. Even now many Anta Mashiachs have come. This is how we know that this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have stayed with us. But in order that it might be made manifest that none of them were of us. And you have an anointing from the Kodesh set apart one, and you know all. I did not write to you this because you do not know the truth, Emet, but because you do know it, and because no falsehood is in truth. Who is the liar except the one denying that Yahusha is Messiah? That is the anti Messiah, the one denying the Father and the Son. No one denying the Son has the Father, no one. And no one confessing the Son has the Father as well. The one confessing the Son has the Father. As for you, let that stay in you which you have heard from the beginning. If that you heard that from the beginning stays in you, you also shall stay in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He has promised to us, everlasting life. I have written to you concerning those who lead you astray. But the anointing which you have received from him stays in you. And you have no need that anyone should teach you, but as the same anointing does teach you all concerning, it is emet, true, and there is no falsehood or deception. And even as it has taught you, you stay in him. Now, little children, stay in him, so that when he appears, we might have boldness and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is Zadok righteous, you know that everyone doing unrighteous, or doing righteousness, excuse me, if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone doing righteousness has been born of him. Chapter 3 of the second or the first book of John, first book of John, chapter 3, Now see what love the Father has given us, that we should be called the children of Elohim. For this reason the world does not know us, because it did not know him, beloved ones, now we are children of Elohim, and it has not been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when He is revealed, 
we shall be like him, conformed to his image. For we shall see him as he is. And everyone having this expectation in him cleanses himself as he is clean. Everyone doing sin also does lawlessness. And so sin is lawlessness. Torah less ness. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him there is no sin. Everyone staying in him does not sin. Everyone sinning has neither seen him nor known him. Little children, let no one lead you astray. And the one doing zedoctus, righteousness, is righteous, even as he is righteous, zedok. The one doing sin is of the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of Elohim, Yahweh, has manifested to destroy the works of the adversary, the devil. Everyone having been born of Elohim does not sin, because his seed stays in him, and he is powerless to sin because he has been born of Elohim. In this, the children of Elohim and the children of the devil are manifested. Everyone doing or everyone not doing righteousness is not of Elohim. Neither the one not loving his brother. Because this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, Berashit that we should love one another. Do you know the definition of love? And if somebody asks you what love is, do you know where to go? Because from where I'm looking, that's a pretty darn important thing. What is the true and what is the falsehood? What is true love according to Yahweh Elohim's will and that counterfeit of love that is according to the ways of the world? Yochanan, the disciple, is calling you to make a choice to follow the word. The word that before he came they knew as the word of Yahweh. And he was made flesh. The word made flesh and tabernacled, sukkoted with us. He was the lamb that took away the sin of the world. My friends, be Kodesh, and as Yochanan says, don't sin. That is not what saved by grapes means. You need to know a definition of Hanan, of the covering. We are to hold these sacred, Kodesh. And we are to have his word live with us. Oh, hey, hey! Ooh. Boom, boom, boom.